My scratch project for CS50 is something I'm calling Study Break Buddy. What I envision it is an opportunity for someone to take a little mental break to regain some focus and concentration so they can go back to studying more effectively. So they'll come here and they'll be provided with three options to, to take their break, either a game or some meditation practice or some physical moves using the webcam input, hopefully. And so this is what I have so far, the opening scenes. So now at this point, of course, I can press a one to play a game or a two to meditate or a three to do the move game. But of course, um, I haven't finished those games yet. This is just the opening sequence. My setup so far is my stage, which has four backdrops, the opening scene, and then a separate backdrops for each of the three games. And the script I have here are, of course, to reset or switch the backdrop back to the opening scene when, well, when the green flag is clicked. And when I receive various broadcasts, to switch the backdrop at that point. So I've got three switches based on three different broadcasts. Now for my girl sprite, when the green flag is clicked, there will be some applause playing and uh, this sprite will say hello to the user who's logged in and broadcast hello. That will kick it over to the other sprite who receives that broadcast and says something and broadcasts, which will bounce it back over to sprite 1, who when break broadcast is received, will give the options for the three separate games. And then I've got a loop going on here, waiting for a keyboard input and saying something and broadcasting something based on that input. So that's it so far. I think I'm doing, you know, okay. I've, I've got the start of a, an okay project. But I think just looking at this, I feel as if I could probably use some conditions and some variables or maybe a list in order to transform this into something not, not quite so ungainly. It seems like it's being very repetitive um, and that I might be able to do something with that. Um, but how else am I doing since I'm self-assessing here? If we look at the requirements of the project, I have to have at least two sprites, um, one that should resemble something other than a cat, and I do. Um, I need to have three scripts and definitely going to exceed that with this plan anyway. Um, I have a loop, but I do not have a condition or a variable. I suspect with my other games, I'm certainly going to include those or with the three games, but I might be able to use a variable or a condition or something to um, make that, that first script with the keyboard input choices um, more elegant. I'm already using a sound and the project should be more complex than some of those demonstrated in the lecture and I think that I'm doing okay there as well. So, uh, how much time have I spent? Well, I did during the first week uh, when CS50 started up, I did go through some tutorials and uh, some of the walkthroughs 
that David provided. And I also looked at some other tutorials at different websites, and I looked at some other students' projects just to get a sense of what was happening. Um, I also provided feedback on some student projects to help me wrap my brain around making, uh, making scripts more elegant, as David says, and reducing them to some key components, um, reducing repetitive things to their core elements. So today was the day that I kind of decided what project I was going to do. And this little bit that I've demonstrated here took me, I don't know, maybe uh, 40 minutes. I ran into a little problem with this for a minute because I had initially forgotten the forever loop and just went into an if else kind of thing and of course that didn't work so then I realized oh I need the forever loop and then all was good but again this is the bit that I want to see if I can make a little bit more elegant all right so that's my opening sequence of my study break buddy and uh, where I am on this project and where I hope to head with this project.